Good morning friends! It's a very wet and windy day here at Origin but a very exciting day because today we are starting our chilla planting. So really excited to get them in the ground. We're putting some in the poet tunnel, some outside so we have them coming up at different times next year. But today we're planting in the poly tunnel because it, the weather isn't uh, nice so happy days to have a poly tunnel to be able to work in. So first things first we are going to sort them out into planting styles because well planting colours because although like we just like cut them all as they come out it's still nice to have ones that, that work and look really nice together. So we have quite a few to go in however we don't have as many as previous years because tulips do have a bit of a mind of their own when, they, when it comes to blooming so sometimes even if it's a sunny day they just decide that they're going to bloom within a few hours so they can be slightly impractical if you're wanting certain colours and certain things for a wedding so we're really quite focusing on hardy annuals and ranunculus and things like that for the weddings and still of course planting loads of tulips so don't worry about that but planting like lots of varieties that we just love and love to see in bloom and love to use even in bouquets and everything so let's start so the very first thing to do is to decide which ones are going together and which ones are going inside the polytunnel and which ones are going outside I will probably do a mix of each variety inside and outside so that they come at different times so we'll get that done now <laughs> Okay, so they've all been sorted out into piles for colour and which ones are going outside, which ones are going inside. So the bed is actually prepped as well because we have a fabulous chicken called Shauna who comes down and <laughs> digs up all the soil, eats any pests that are there and eats some of the weeds as well. So the bed is ready to be planted so we will just get started. So as you can see we've got half of this bed planted out. We have 200 tulip bulbs in this so far so by the time we have finished planting this one bed there will be 400 tulip bulbs in it. These beds are 2 meters by 2 meters so quite a lot of tulips going in the one bed. We'll have a few more beds that we can plant out but as you can see as well we have planted them quite close together just to see if space so we can get as many in as possible and I like planting them close together because I feel like they kind of support each other as they get bigger and don't fall over as much but the main thing is because they don't need to be planted very speciously so why not so we just need to get the next half of this bed planted out and that's 400 done we have a few more beds to do as well so all good so if you can see behind me we have two beds fully planted with tulips we basically just push them into the soil slightly and then just cover them with compost so we've still that step to do. Um, so there's 800 tulips planted here and we have a few left to plant outside but actually not as many. I really have cut down on the tulip bulbs this year because they're actually quite expensive to buy and you get one flower for each bulb so just for this year I was just trying to maybe like to do something different and put my focus into more like of um, plants that would give more return for value so you would get a few stems from like the one like the ranunculus corms you get a few like more than one ranunculus whereas the tulips beautiful and stunning as they are you get one tulip for each plant so we'll see it's a bit of a um a bit of a change bit of a experiment and see what it's like but really excited to see these in bloom next next spring feels like ages away but really time just flies so not be that long so we just need to get a compost cover these all and then that is the polytunnel almost done so feeling really pleased with our progress today we got basically all our tulips planted in the polytunnel they're all covered in soil we cover them in a good amount of soil and um, compost just to make sure that they have some nice airy soil just to grow, grow through so that's all done all complete so all that's left to do are the outside tulips 
which will doesn't doesn't take that long so come back and join us next week i'm going to show you the process for outside tulips and also for getting the ranunculus and anemones started creasoging and all that so don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit that bell just to get notified whenever we put out our new videos so you can follow along and join in, in the planting see you then